Okay guys, it's me, Waldo2413, back with another video. This video, guys, I am making some uh, birthday shirts uh, for my great uh, nephews. Okay, so here we go, guys. Created the artwork for Cameron. So this is happy first birthday. It's his first birthday. Um, we are using DTF, guys. And I'm just positioning this where it looks really nice on here. I made it really large. Um, probably could have made it a little bit smaller. But here we go, guys. And these are DTFs. Um, let's throw a transfer or a Teflon over the top if you need. It's not really necessary. A lot of times I do though just because if there's any ink that carries up, you don't want to get it on there. Um, and we're going to do a few different ones guys. So as this is going, it's going to pop up in a second. Three, two, one. Remember guys, these are cold peels. So I'm going to set this one aside and do the other one for his brother. Okay, so now we're going to pre-press the shirt, kind of get any moisture out of it. We're doing a, just a 15 second press on this guys really quick. Getting the moisture out, getting the wrinkles out. Yeah, I'm content. So now we're going to throw this one on for Michi. This is his brother. What we'll be doing in some upcoming videos, we'll be doing some other ones too because Michi's got a birthday coming up also. So we're going to be making Michi some shirts too for his birthday. Okay, and guys, 315. 15 seconds. This other one is already cooled, guys. So once this pops, we're going to set that up there. And we'll peel that. And this one is going to go over here to cool also. So we're going to set this one over here to cool. It's already cooled some because it's already lifted on the uh, transfer, but here's the uh, Cameron one. So, nothing stuck on it. These are the normal DTFs. There is the shirt. Now we're going to do the secondary press to kind of help set this in there, guys. do this as a set press so it's just literally pressing it in there and helping it set set the uh, transfer better and that is it on this one guys perfectly smooth this is a nice thing about DTF guys, you can do something really quick, full color. This is on a white t-shirt, so um, not as critical, but you could have put it on any color. Um, his brother, we're going to be doing some black shirts for his brother coming up soon. But what we're also going to do too guys, um, this one is cooled down, so we're going to throw this one on here. Gonna do the secondary press. This one's a 15 seconds again, guys. The 
other fun thing that we are going to do this is something kind of when people ask what all can you press on or what all can you transfer to it's super hot there is Michi's baby shark shirt uh, for his brother's birthday party so here comes the other fun stuff um, take the uh, tags off we are going to press some which I'm going to have to probably adjust my pressure um, just because pressure is pretty high on this one right now and these pants are pretty thick so all I'm doing they both got a pair of blue jeans so what I'm doing is I made some baby shark logos as you guys can see and what I'm going to do is we're doing this on the spot live so bear with me guys is what we're going to do is put baby sharks all over the blue jeans and we're doing that just now you can pre-press these if you want it is totally up to you and we've got some other sea creatures and all that so what I'm going to do is just kind of cut out some of these and we'll see how many we can put on here without it making kind of looking too overdone so we're gonna just like I said spread them out make it where you're kind of content with what you have on there because remember at the end of the day guys something like this is what you want to see not what I want to see so um, I think I like it just like that. Uh, so what we're gonna do guys, we're not gonna even pre-press these pants, normally I would. What I'm gonna do is throw this down. Super high pressure because I didn't like loosen it up. But we are doing these on both pair for each kid. So each of them are getting blue jeans also to match the tops. So like I said, we're going to press these. What I might do also, uh, they look like they press pretty good. What I'm going to do just to play it safe, um, they're on there. It's pressed actually more than enough. But just to play it safe, we're going to do a secondary press. I'm going to undo the label off these other ones for the other brother, and we're going to press them next. And what I did also, we've got a few different size sharks and all that. So we're going to set these aside and let them cool, guys. Because they are warm and they're going to need to be peeled. So what we're going to do next, lay the other pair of pants down here. And what I'm going to do with these, just to make it a little bit easier, so... We don't run into the wrinkles or anything. Is I'm gonna pre-press these guys, so or try to. <laughs> and like I said, I've got these ones. We printed a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna print some of these on there. Like I said, we got a few different sizes, a few different baby sharks. So we're just going to find whatever looks good and press them. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to cut some more of these out. Put on this one. Like I said, these are the same ones. We just made it a tad bit bigger.
So what I'm going to do, and we're not going to duplicate these, so they're not going to match exactly. We're just going to have some fun with them, guys, and play some just however we feel like it. And that's the nice thing about DTF. You can put it how you want. On the downside, when they're on there, they're stuck. DTF sticks really well. But, we can press these anywhere we want. And that's what we're doing. And like you guys, like I said guys, you see me doing this as we go. This is kind of off the cuff, so we're not actually, I didn't have a set idea where we're going to put them. I'm just placing them where I feel they look good. But this is a nice thing, guys. I'm just showing you guys on blue jeans what you can do on blue jeans. So, and I think that's good right there, guys. I'm kind of content with them. So, what we're going to do now is throw the. Uh, Teflon on top. 15 second press. These other ones are cool, guys. So once we get this done, we're going to press the other ones. What I'm going to do also, guys, is if I'm kind of worried, I can repress it again. Which I'm just doing it. I'm not Honestly, I'm not worried. I know the DTF stick well. I just want to make sure it gets every nook and cranny because I didn't hang these off anywhere. So the belt or the width is actually thicker up top than it is down low. So they are sticking in the way. There's not much. I mean, there is things I could have done. I could have hung them off, but I'm not worried one bit. Like I said, guys, I've done use this stuff before and it, it works great. Now, here we go, guys. We're going to start peeling these off. And then we're going to do the secondary press. But there you guys go. So now he's got matching pants that matches his shirt with the baby shark. These are on there. Feel great. Doing the secondary press right now just to help set them in and kind of hold them in good. Here's the fun thing, guys. Got these smaller ones right here that I did make, and I didn't. Don't stab yourself with steak or scissors. <laughs> so I didn't put any of these ones on there. So the nice thing is, I want to put some of these on here. So I'm going to put that one right there and that right there and then we're going to throw this guy down here the reason I thought of that I said well, let's just add a few more it doesn't hurt so now what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to press it again and this is showing you guys that you can press over and over, press more on there. They're not going to stick. I mean, I could have put some more of the smaller stuff. We cut a bunch of these. They're just going to go to waste. These aren't for sale or anything. I just did it for the birthday. So, like I said, we're going to set it aside, let it cool. These other ones, still a little warm. Um... They did have two presses and it did take a second to set these other ones. So what I'm doing is trying to cool them down a little bit quicker. But they do got some heat in them. So we're still able to peel them. I'm just kind of being cautious to make sure that... Uh, if I think they're not set all the way, I'm gonna I would have stopped. But they were set good. I'm content with them.
and I kind of like how these look. So these ones, I'm trying to think if I want to put anything else on here. I kind of like what I got. So we're going to leave these ones. We're just going to do the final press. So here we go. This is the final press for this. These other ones are a little warm, guys. So I'm going to try to peel them carefully. Came right off, no problem. So now we've got a custom pair of pants to match the custom shirts. So what I'm going to do, set these ones right here. Throw this on one final set. And that's just pressing them in. And what I'll do, guys, is I'll have a photo at the end of the shirts and the pants laid there together. I'll put the photo on there for you guys so you guys can see. But this is how it's done, guys. You can do them on blue jeans. This is going to have a little heat in it. so. But you can put them on blue jeans, guys. You can do anything you want. This stuff is going to stick. It's not coming off. Um... just for fun since I see the back pockets what I'm going to do is put a shark on each back pocket um, and like I said this is something just doing on the fly guys like I said you can change things up you can mix match this stuff works great um, for doing this stuff so Let's press these, and then I'm going to do the other on the other ones too. We're going to put something on both rear pockets. Um, we'll look in a second, see which ones I want to put on there. The big thing is we're going to have to let these cool to peel these back ones, but we're going to set these aside while we do the other ones. So now we've got these flipped over. Like I said, I'm just going off the, the cusp, kind of going off the, just deciding what I want done to them. I don't, didn't have anything set in, in stone. I was told to make whatever I want on them. So that's what I'm actually doing. So, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to put one on each. On the rear on these ones also. I did do the same color ones just so him and his brother match. They're just the different size, different facing ones. What I'm doing right now, guys, these are still a little warm. But there you go. So now the rear pockets match. Throw that off. Throw these over here. We're going to throw these one last press, guys, just to help set them in. And, guys, I will show you the photo after. Like I said, these other ones, too, that I've got to let cool. Because they're going to be way too hot to peel. So the other ones we're going to have to bear with me a minute here too. But, as you can see, now we've got an outfit that all matches. So like I said, I'm going to set this aside and get a photo of it for you guys. And they each got matching outfits and pants. So... This is how it's done, guys. These other pants are a little warm. So, got to kind of peel it. There we go, guys. There's the back of these. As you guys can see, we're going to throw them on and do one final set, and then we will be done. Sorry this video is long guys, hopefully you guys enjoy it, but it shows you guys you can put this stuff on blue jeans, you can put these on just about anything. They will stick and adhere to 
almost any item you can think of. So there you guys go. We're going to take a photo real quick for the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and following, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. And uh, please like, subscribe, and follow, guys. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks again. I'm Waldo2413. I'm out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that's where you don't miss any more Michi and Bobby videos.